What's up, y'all? T2. What up? T2. <laughs> yeah, that's a reference we can all enjoy. Um, Tommy, uh, <laughs> you've, uh, you've been dealing with this hamstring injury. Mm -hmm. We saw last week you kind of pulled up. Uh, what's your status kind of right now? Do you feel like you can take part in week one next week? I mean, that's the plan right now. Um, I'm working with the training staff to do everything we can to be as best as possible. They've been really good with me. Um, and really just trying to get ready for the Saints is my biggest mentality. Um, I want to help this team win. I want to help this team have success. And so that's the plan for now. Um, try to get as healthy as possible and plan to try to be there for week one. On the practice squad, how big is that for the room and for the offense? That's awesome. Jordan is uh, loved in our room, man. He's our OG. He's our big vet there. And so he has a lot of knowledge of the game. Great player, too. Um, as you guys saw in the last preseason game, he was balling out, doing his thing. So we're really excited to have him back. You're known internally as like one of the guys that works a lot behind the scenes with Chuba and all that stuff. But he was getting to practice like 40 minutes early to mm -hmm. see a guy in his 30s do that at this stage in the game. Like, how impressive is that to a younger player, and how much can that rub off on the rest of the team? I think it's inspiring, man. Like, at one point, if you do it once or twice, people are going to be like, all right, that guy's a little crazy. But if you're consistently like that, especially as a vet, especially if him already having success in the league and tasting that and having his ups and downs and still putting in that work, I believe it rubs off on everyone, man. And so I'm proud to have him in our room. He's a great dude. Great football player, great father, and I think um, we all can learn a lot from him. How would you describe this offense compared to last year's schematically? I would say it plays heavy into our strengths as an offense. Um, we're really excited about it because uh, the way we get explanations of everything, it makes sense. We can see the vision of what they're planning, um, trust the training, trust everything that they're teaching us, and we see the success of it. And I think that's the most exciting thing, especially going into this season. Found on how it works to all strengths. I think um, really using guys and their specialty for what they're good at and putting them in possessions to succeed is the biggest point. And I think the coaching staff has a lot of trust in us as players um, and us collectively as an offense for what we got to do. And so when really um, they go over game plans, they go over new play schematics, they give they get our interpretation on it. They get our change of words about like, hey, how do we feel about this? And I think that speaks highly to how much they trust us and want us to succeed. I think Bryce is the playmaker, man. He's a guy that can make any throw, uh, throws that you see on those like little uh, TikTok Instagram reels. You're like, how did he do it? He can do all that. And I think letting him go out there, play free, um, and just be a ball player like he is. Um, a lot of guys say this, man, like he didn't win the Heisman for no reason. He's an excellent football player. And so letting him just play free and do what he does best, and that's just making plays, I think um, that's what the offense helps him in. Tommy, did you ever talk to him over this offseason? I mean, obviously it wouldn't give it away. Anybody wanted it, particularly him. Mm -hmm. Did you talk to him about, I don't know, just football and future and confidence and yeah, Bryce took us all out um, this offseason to Cali. We uh, threw there with a bunch of the offensive guys and getting to hang out with them, get his inference, because I get how it is as a rookie. You know what I mean? Trying to be a leader on the team, but also know you don't want to overstep on stuff. And so um, being able to, when he finally relaxed, be able to talk to us, especially after a hard season like that, um, and getting really his information on what he likes and what he wants for the season. He wants success. He wants to win. He wants to be a guy that can um, help Carolina put it back to what it was, greatness, you know what I mean? And so I think having those conversations as an offense and as a team, um, I'm really excited about that. It seems like he's always like this with us, you know, pretty even keeled out, down, down. Did you notice that too? Yeah. I think, that's, uh, I think that's honestly a winner's mentality. He's a killer, man. Like, he's cool, calm, collected, same guy day in, day out. And I think that's the secret to success. We, we brought it up kind of when he was hired, but having Bert at here uh, as basically your main opposition coach, how much has he maybe helped you kind of off the field with seeing stuff that maybe a safety would look at uh, and helping you improve your game as a tight end? I think this offseason, um, especially, you know, having my uncle here, he's awesome. He's the reason I even thought I could play college football, man. He gave me the 
the, I guess, um, mentality, you know, going into my last year with no scholarship offers, thinking I wasn't going to play, to really keep working. You got it. You got a chance, man. And being wholeheartedly real with me. And the funny thing is, like, when we're at work, we're all – it's it's me, my mom's side. He's my mom's little brother, and so like we're all about work, man. We're all about getting our business done. And I think collectively, as like offense and defense, we've been kind of trading points. Like, hey, this is what we kind of do on the offensive side if we're trying to do this certain route, or if we're going to be run blocking or doing this. And then they tell us, hey, when our feet are like this, and I think kind of trading those points and really leveling up our game together is what's helped us a lot this off season. I mean, what do you see in that fourth and three play on Saturday um, that fits everything you just said about Bryce and the things that he likes to do and wants to do? Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys saw it. He's a playmaker, man. He rolled out of the pocket, made an insane throw, and they gave him that trust to be like, hey, you can go out and you can do this. And no second thought of like, uh, should we punt, should we do – nope. They trusted him wholeheartedly, and he made a play. He proved him right. But that was on its own, right? I mean, he's he's special. Yeah, he's special, man. Like, the guys, uh, especially working that scramble drill, too, it all came to fruition. That's the coaching that we're taught. That's everything that we collectively as a group done. And um, as a quarterback, as our leader, man, he made it happen. And throughout the offseason program and training camp, uh, what have you seen in uh, rookie Trevin Wallace? Oh, man, he's a beast, man. I see him making plays all over the field. Um, it's hard to do that as a rookie coming in. Um, but I'm excited for him, man. He's a good dude. He's funny. He's, uh, but the most of all, like he's a playmaker, man. And that's, that's hard to come by, especially this early, uh, in your career. And so I'm excited for him. What was it like today seeing the roster kind of really get turned over again mm -hmm. with six waiver claims and some other free agent signings? Um, you know, that's the business. I don't know too much about it. I'm focused on just really the team collectively trying to focus on week one, like I said. Um, but you never really get used to it as a vet. It's uh, a little tough, but you know that um, guys that work their butt off, they get what they deserve, man. And guys that didn't get an opportunity to stay with us, I know they're going to go somewhere else and make plays. And so um, I'm just really trying to focus on what the team and what uh, the coaches have collectively put together. Tommy and Harris before we left. Did you get to talk to Terrace before he left? Uh, I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but I'm going to reach out to him, man. I just wanted to, you know, not overload him with a bunch of stuff. But he's a ball player, man. He made plays. He's been balling the last few weeks. And so I'm excited to see him continue to keep trending upwards. Your coaches have said uh, that there are no expectations for this, for this group. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, as a player, do you kind of hear that and, like, digest it, but then also say, no, but this is what I expect? us to do like what just generally speaking what are your expectations I think um expectations for this year is trying to find that missing piece that um we have been for the last few years and find that either as a team collectively either as someone making plays either as anything I think we need to find that missing piece and right now going into this year I feel the best out of any year I've been here uh with with Chuba there have been people outside that doubted that he could be an RB1. He's even pointed out that over the years he got a lot of flack. Mm -hmm. To see him in the position that he's in now as such a close friend of his and, and, a, gla and a draft classmate and the position you, you're in right now, mm -hmm. how much have you guys reflected on that over the summer? And to see him in that position, how, how cool is that as a guy that's worked with him for years? It's awesome, man. It's something he's earned, and I think um... – the problem a lot of guys get is once they earn a spot, they think they deserve it. And every single day that we come in this building, we don't deserve anything. We earn it every day. And I think having that kind of mentality day in, day out for the last two, three years um, really helped us as players, helped us gain confidence as players, helped us just be who we are today. And I think um, I'm proud of him, man. He works his butt off for that stuff. And so uh, I'm happy for him. I'm ready for him to ball out this year, do his thing. So it's exciting. Appreciate y'all.